Let me tell you guys why Justin Fields is going to break out for the Chicago Bears next year. What is going on, y'all? Foss Borsall back at it with another video talking to NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, you will not subscribe. I don't know quite what you're doing, but you need to subscribe. Seriously, folks, post and daily Chicago Bears content. You don't want to miss out. All right, so with that being said, you see the whiteboard behind me. We got another whiteboard video for you guys. And I'm breaking down why Justin Fields is going to break out this year. And I'm going to give you proof, okay? And it's not just as simple as, hey, he got his number one wide receiver, DJ Moore. I want to break down exactly why that is the case, okay? So, as you see on the whiteboard here, we've got four quarterbacks, Justin Fields at the end here, but we will talk about these three quarterbacks and why are these three quarterbacks special? Well, these are the QBs who got a number one wide receiver in their third season. So not just period, but in their third season. Josh Allen, Tua, and Jalen Hurts. And I think most people would agree Josh Allen's an elite quarterback. Jalen Hurts is now an elite quarterback. Tua is not an elite, but a solid quarterback, right? We hope he stays healthy and doesn't have any more concussions, but you get the point here. All three of these guys got their number one wide receiver in their third year. Josh Allen got Stephon Diggs. Tua got Tyreek Hill. Jalen Hurts got A.J. Brown. And nobody would disagree that all three of those guys are number one receivers. Well, guess what? Justin Fields just got his number one in D.J. Moore. Just go look at the numbers. I don't want to hear the arguments. D.J. Moore is a bona fide number one receiver. Okay, so don't get confused here with these numbers. I want to break them each down for you guys. Josh Allen had 3,089 yards, 20 TDs, and 9 interceptions, and a 49.4 QBR in his second year. So these are all second-year numbers, and then we're going to talk about the leap that they made. Okay, so... Again, 3,089 yards, 20 TDs, 9 picks, 49.4 QBR. Then he breaks out 30 year with Diggs, goes to 4,500 passing yards. So almost 1,500 more than he had in year two. 37 touchdowns, so a 17 touchdown jump from 20 to 37. Just one more interception, and then a 76.6 QBR. So just to put it in context, a perfect QBR is 100. An average QBR is 50. So 50 is average. This is perfect. And to put it in context, last year Patrick Mahomes led the NFL with a 76 point, excuse me, 77.6 QBR. So getting that 100 is not very easy. And 50 is average. So if the best quarterback in football had a 77.6, 76.6 is pretty freaking good, all right? So just want to put that context out there for those of you that don't understand QBR. Okay, so Josh Allen made a monumental leap, okay? Then we take a look at Tua. 2,600 rush passing yards, excuse me, 16 TDs to 10 interceptions, 55.7 QBR. He makes the leap, almost 1,000 yards more passing to 3,500, almost 10 TDs more to 25 and 8. And then a 68.8 QBR, a 13-point jump when he got Tyreek Hill. Okay? And then finally, Jalen Hurts, similar skill set to a Justin Fields, right? Uh, a quarterback who rushes 3,144 passing yards, 16 TDs to 9 picks, 54.6 uh, QBR. And then he makes the leap about 600 more uh, passing yards. But keep in mind, his rushing numbers were insane. I'm only talking about the passing numbers here. I'm not even counting the rushing numbers. I'm talking about Justin Fields having a breakout through the year. But let's just finish out here. It's 22 passing touchdowns. So that jump here from 16 to 22, six interceptions and a 66.4 QBR. So if I just do the math here, comparing to these three quarterbacks, at minimum, Justin Fields should make the following leap. All right. At minimum, passing yards here. At worst, you're talking about a 600 to 800 passing yard increase. So let's just round it up to a nice 3,000 passing yards for Justin Fields next year. Again, this is not even like a, a median. This is just a, a bare minimum, I think, for what a leap would look like. And then we take a look at touchdowns. Justin Fields had 17 TDs to 11 picks. The worst jump here was Jalen Hurts with six touchdowns. Um, I think if you just add that to Justin Fields, that's 23 touchdowns. And then the, the interception, the worst one, you just went down two, which was two, a 10 to eight. So let's say he goes down from 11 to nine. And then QBR, the lowest jump was Jalen Hurts from 54 to 66. Let's say Justin Fields does that as well. So at worst, his 
breakout would be minimum of these numbers here. 3,000 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, 9 picks, and 66.4 QBR. Now, those would be pretty solid numbers. Uh, and again, keep in mind, Jalen Hurts, I know he only had 22 touchdown passing, but he had 13 rushing, okay? And Fields last year, 17 passing and 8 rushing. So these are not all of it. You know Fields will rush for some touchdowns. So let's give him 7 rushing, okay? So that would bring his total TDs to 30 to 9, okay? You give me 3,000 passing yards to 3,500, okay, this range. You give me uh, 65 to 70 QBR, and you give me a 30 to 9 TD to interception ratio, you broke out. Point blank, period. I mean, those are those are elite quarterback numbers, right? We're talking total here, by the way, total TD, not just passing. So to me, this is clear indication of showing you that when you get that number one receiver, you will make that jump. And Justin Fields will at minimum make this jump next year. He's going to break out. He'll make at least this jump, 3,023, 6.4. But even if he gives you this range here, you could see this is going to be elite. And this is just the bare minimum. It could be much more than this. So you see the potential here for what DJ Moore does for you. And it's not just DJ Moore. Obviously, you have coaching. You have other playmakers there. But it's just having that guy that you know you can trust, your go-to guy. That's a game changer that can beat even the toughest cornerbacks, that can get uh, behind a defense, take the top off a of defense, a guy that can just change your life. And you know Justin Fields has never had that guy up until now. I'm just telling you what the numbers show you. Quarterbacks who get a number one wide receiver in the third year make this leap. Why can't Justin Fields do the same? I think he will. I think he breaks out. And those are what the numbers will probably look like. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up.